Hi, thank you for joining us. Number one, Saint Andrew Dunglac was born in North Vietnam in 1795. At the age of 12, his parents had to move away from home to work and Andrew was taken care of by a catechist whose role it was to teach the principles of the Christian faith. Number two, after three years of living with the catechist, Andrew was baptised into the Catholic faith. In his studies, he went on to learn Latin and Chinese to become a catechist himself. At the age of 28, he was ordained a Catholic priest. His examples of a simple and moral life drew others closer to Christ. Number three, in 1835, the new emperor took charge of Vietnam. Where it was illegal to practice the Catholic faith, Andrew was imprisoned. Andrew's congregation appreciated his work so much, they put donations together to free him from prison. Number four, to avoid the authorities, Andrew moved to a different region and changed his name to Lac. While visited other priests for confessions, St Andrew was re-arrested and taken to Hanoi where they were tortured and beheaded in 1839. Number five, along with St Andrew, another 117 Christians were martyred during the period of Vietnam. St Andrew set a great example of what it means to be a follower of Christ as he persevered with his faith through tough times. How can we use the example to inspire us each day? Thanks for watching us. Bye.